Mr. Hayato Sobua, almost two years having no ambassador, and thanks to Patrick for what he has done as RJ and uh, JD. <clears throat> anyway, I am comfortable speaking for the rest of my colleagues. We are a vanishing breed of physicians, fellow physicians and allied health professionals in this country, those of us who came in the 60s and 70s. Many of us are wanting to go home to help our uh, uh, fellow countrymen uh, by doing medical missions and uh, creating sustainable projects. Now, the sticking thing here that we have had problems, and now I'll speak for all of them, because we've been all talking about this the last two decades. Why is it that this embassy, the Philippine embassy, does not have a health attaché of all the different departments of the government? We have health attaché in commerce, in labor and industry, in tourism, uh, and culture and every agriculture, everything else, but no health at the shape. Here we are, uh, so many Filipino American physicians that came to this country. We're one of the highest number of uh, foreign medical graduates that came during that time, and uh, we need help in uh, what we want to do for our homeland. Many, of, like I said, we are vanishing. Uh, many of us are in the dead, dying. <laughs> retired, <laughs> retiring, or at the height thank, of our work. Thank, thank you very much. Before we explain, uh, yeah. 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 well, first of all, we'll address that uh, having a health uh, attaché here, but you know, we don't even have a health secretary uh, that was, well, she wasn't confirmed, so now we have a new health secretary, so we'll probably take it up with the new one, Secretary Duke, whether we, in fact, th these are all attachés that are obviously uh, attached agencies here in the Philippine Embassy. We can only recommend to them, but at the end of the day, it is these departments that will have to 